together. Yeah, yeah. That one I haven't made yet. That, that's okay. Not that's yet, okay. Yet, yet. Look, I, I had to get myself together. You were just telling me, and then, you know, I was going to ask you to call light, but I felt like that was a little unprofessional. <laughs> but I might ask you in a little bit. Okay, we'll see if we can get on that. <laughs> but, yeah, so tell me, you have a story about... 21? Uh, 21. Oh, yeah, Tell 21. me that story. Okay, you ready for this story? So, <laughs> when I moved to Atlanta, I was uh, doing freelance writing for a lot of magazines. Okay. And I had a friend of mine that uh, worked at Atlantic Records, called her up and said, hey, I work for this, you know, I write for this magazine, I'm a freelancer, and I'd like to uh, do an interview for, with one of your artists. So she said, okay, great, she's going to be in Atlanta. In fact, this weekend, and I'll give you the number to the hotel, and you call and set it up. So, at the time, I was freelancing for the magazine, but I was also working full-time for a gospel record label. Okay. So, I'm at the gospel record label in my office, and it's around 6 o'clock, and I say, okay, now's the time for me to call this, this artist. So, when I called, I immediately knew when I called her room, her mom picked up. And I asked for the young lady, I had my pen and paper all ready for my interview questions and everything right. like that. And when she got on the phone, we talked. We talked like we were best of friends. We laughed, we joked, we were like, <laughs> I mean, I literally stopped taking notes. Okay. <laughs> so at the end of the interview, I was like, oh man, I don't have anything, you know. Because we laughed, we talked about everything. And, I, you know, people always ask me, being in the industry so long, do I have any regret? And I do have one regret because this young lady said to me before we hung up the phone, she said, hey, what are you doing tonight? And I said, nothing why. She said, hey, I'm doing a show tonight at Centennial Olympic Park. Why don't you come hang out with me? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. But I got lazy. I'm like, you know what? I got to go all the way back to Gwinnett, which is like 30, 45 minutes from Atlanta. <laughs> I'm just going to go home. I'll, you know, I'll see her another time. And unfortunately, I never had that chance to see her again because she passed away. Wow. Her name was Aaliyah. Oh, wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh my goodness. That was Aaliyah. And we just celebrated her birthday. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. What a story. Yeah. Hey, so you know what? I, I was telling you I was at the John Maxwell conference. Yes, I and one of the quotes that somebody said is, opportunities aren't lost. They're just found by someone else. Mm, somebody agree. found your opportunity. But you know what? I agree with that because that was the whole thing between Prince and uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson used to say, I can't sleep. And can't not if I if I don't Prince is gonna take my stuff. So he was so much incompetent with Prince that he was like, you know, God gave me this, and if I don't do what I'm supposed to do with it, God's gonna give it to Prince. Wow, that's, how that's he thought of exactly. It. And you know, I think of Proverbs 18 and 16 because your gifts will make room for you mm. and <laughs> bring you before great men, right? Uh -huh, yeah. Oh man, that's amazing. Yeah. I just love your story from overcoming to breaking in this industry regardless you. if you didn't fit the physical bill that people heck i don't fit the physical bill no, I have look to. i we all know we all when know. they ask me to be on stuff they're like you you want to be on our big girl issue <laughs> like wait a minute like why not be on the big girl issue you know what i'm saying but no but no you know we you, the box that that they created right. but we don't stop there we're just like hey Work with what we got right, until, exactly. I can be, until I share these few pounds. Okay, put me on your Big Girl magazine. Yes, I will be on <laughs> your Big promotion, Girl magazine. Still <laughs> exactly. promotion, still marketing. And, and, you know, regardless of a disability or um, whatever that maybe would normally hinder somebody. Right. You just don't succumb to it. I love that spirit. I love that Thank spirit. You. So do you do anything with Cerebral Palsy um, Foundations? Actually, do you have something going on, a bowling yeah, actually, it's not my ball. Everybody okay. always, every year, everybody, everybody thinks it's me. But that's because like, <laughs> you give it love. You give love to it. My friend Z Mullen from New York, down here in Atlanta. Every year, Z Mullen does two major events. The first event that she does every year is called Bronx Day. Okay. And it's people that are from New York, Connecticut, Philadelphia, New Jersey, that are transplanted to New York, I mean Atlanta. They do a three-day weekend event in Atlanta called Bronx Day. Well, can a Tennessee girl come? Oh, Dang. absolutely. We, we okay. want everybody to come <laughs> through. Yeah, we want everybody to come through. And then every September, she does something called the Celebrity Bowling Event. Okay. Where we raise money for Sickle Cell. Oh, great. And we everybody gets a team together. And we bowl all night long, play music, and DJ, and everybody from Teddy Raleigh, Ed Hartwell, Tommy Ford, 
everybody comes through. Some heavy hitters. Wow. Yeah, and and um, I do know in one of one of the new faces of uh, Voice 108 um, Praise will be, um, her daughter has sickle cell. So, hey mm. there, Allison Feliciano. Um, uh, so, definitely, yeah. we definitely want to connect her to make sure that uh, she knows about that. Okay. And we know that sickle cell is, is prominent in our community. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, more prominent. And um, so... Definitely. Well, that that's amazing. Thank well, let me let me ask you because being a believer and wanting to come into the industry, mm -hmm. how do you maintain? So now we know that reality TV is at its peak because it's misbehaved. People, for whatever reason, is attracted to misbehavior. True. People like scandal, right. and I'm not talking about the show. I'm saying they like the more mess it is. Right. The more people tune in. So being an artist and understanding, hey, my, my platform isn't scandal. My platform today, I, my platform is about creating the best interactions with others. Right. Not fighting with you, but I right. want to, how do I love you? And so a lot of times uh, the, the media and the people that are really pulling the strings are kind of saying, well, you know, I'm going to need you to say a little less Jesus. Right, right. I need you to, you know, if you're not involved with someone, just... Act I like you're involved. Involved, yeah. So how does a believer still want to be in their craft, come into the industry, mm -hmm. and be um, and be effective within the industry, but not lose their self, um, their belief system? What would you? What advice do you give? Well, you know, the change that's happening in the music industry is that music is no longer music anymore because music is strictly now for marketing. Mm -hmm. So when an artist comes out with a song, nine times out of ten he's really not going to make any money with that song. That song is basically to get him out there so that he can do other projects and other things. So if he can make that song big enough, then he can brand himself and use that, that music as a launching pad. Okay. So music in a sense is no longer, for the artist, no longer just about the music. It's about making the music so that you can become a brand and build that brand. Now, for many people that get into the industry, they have to understand it's a business, mm -hmm. which I preach all the time. For the last 10, 15 years, I've preached that this is a business. Right. I've heard artists say to me, well, I don't want to know about the business. I just want to be creative. Mm -hmm. Well, then it's a hobby. Oh, okay. ouch. Okay. And so it's a hobby because if you don't want to know about the business or you don't want to know about copyright, 360 deal, uh, I probably talk to 99% of artists, whether they're into acting, music, or fashion, they don't have an entertainment attorney. And so you have to have that. That's the very first thing that you have to have, is an entertainment attorney. And the industry is so small that everybody knows everybody. Mm -hmm. So basically what you have to do is you ask for referrals. Okay. Because if I come to you and ask you about a publicist or a manager or entertainment attorney, mm -hmm. you're not going to send somebody to me that you've had a bad experience with. Right. You're going to send somebody to me that you've had a long-term relationship with and you say, hey, this is a good person. Right, reputable. Yeah. Reputable. And so you have to do your homework, you have to do the research. With the internet, it's no longer, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about this person, I didn't know about that person. And so you have to, somebody comes to you and says, well, I'm T.I.'s cousin. Mm -hmm. Research and find out if it really is T.I.'s cousin. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Wow. So, so they need to understand that it's a brand. Mm -hmm. It's a brand and it's marketing. Right. So, when, so do they go, what, what would you suggest they do? Go the indie route or continue to seek a label? Because, I mean, I may want to sing for Jesus and get paid. I may want to uh, rap his praises or... Even maybe not in the forefront, but something on the back. I want to work with other gospel artists, mm -hmm. but they're not making the money because we know. I mean, you think of a money to go to a secular concert mm -hmm. and then a money to go to a gospel concert is vastly different. Right, absolutely right. So how how do I how do I get to do this and still not lose me, not not wander onto the other side because secular music looks like it's winning. Well, the first thing that, that a lot of artists have to do is they have to... Well, I, I, I definitely am anti-label. Okay. I've been anti-label for a couple of years. Oh, okay. Mainly because technology has allowed the independent artists to really run their own show. 30, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, you needed a label for distribution. Mm -hmm. You needed a label to get on radio. You needed a label for music videos. 
you need a label to put you on a, uh, some type of promotion tour. Your, your radio now is internet radio. So even if you don't get on BLS in New York or B103 in Atlanta, you can get on a show like this and still promote your music. 108 Praise Radio, throw them up. There you okay, go. I just had to throw that out there. <laughs> There you go, exactly, exactly, so this, is, this, is, this is airway, and see the thing about it, which is great for this type of radio, is you got uh, worldwide, not just regional. 108 Praise Radio, throw it up! <laughs> see, exactly. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. So, as an artist, if I'm an artist, I don't need, to, I can come to you and go to internet places, radio stations all over the world, and they're looking for content, they want music, they want absolutely. interviews. Absolutely. Okay, so now I can go to the guy on Craigslist and get my video done. Okay. Instead of going to the label and they're charging me X amount of dollars, I can go now and throw that video up on YouTube and get some hits off of that. Distribution is 40, 50 years ago used to be the mom and pop store. Uh -huh. The little record store on the corner. Right. We don't have that anymore. Yeah. So the distribution now is online. You get yourself a PayPal account, set yourself a, a website. Hey, I need my listeners right now. This, these are gems. I don't give nuggets. You eat nuggets yeah, and they yeah. pass. I'm giving you some gems right here. These are some gems. You better be listening. And you writing. Said, and writing, yes. Yeah. PayPal is going to get you your... Tell them again about... Yeah, PayPal. Let, let me tell you, this is let me, what's so crazy is that I run into so many artists. PayPal and cash and all these money terminals have a little thing that you can order. Stick in your phone. You swipe it. Like the square, right? Like square. Right. Uh-huh. I run into a lot of artists that don't, don't even have it. And I'm like, okay, because I don't carry cash on me like that Nobody anymore. Cash. I'm like, I got my card. Yeah. And they're like, oh, well, I don't, you know. like. So now there's no excuse not to be able to, to, to swipe. I mean, I'm paying with, uh, with my cell phone instead of swiping now. Wow. So the yeah. artist really has to learn technology. They have to be an expert at SEO, which is search engine optimization. Okay. Search engine, because when... To be found on Google, mm -hmm. to be found on Bing, you have to be an expert at search engine optimization, SEO. Search engine Keyword. optimization. Keyword, because if Terry types in Leanne, you should pop up all on the page. If I'm looking for you, right. and I'm looking for a radio show, radio show in Atlanta, you should pop up. I should pop yeah. up. Yes. Exactly. Search Keyword. engine optimization. Keyword. So let me tell you. I should have charged them for being here today. That's you guys, thank this, you. Is, this exactly. is truly love. You just had thank a workshop. Thank Terry you. has dropped some business knowledge. No, thank seriously. And all, yes, this is, this is knowledge that they're paying to go to workshops <laughs> for because they need to be familiar with technology. Absolutely. If you're an artist, you're an indie artist, you want to be an aspiring artist, you need to, one, first you need to go and email opportunity at 108praiseradio.com and let us know that you're out there. That's right. There you go. <laughs> so that there we can go. invite you to the show. That's but then funny. after that, you need to invest in yourself. Absolutely. You need to talk to an, uh, an attorney, an exactly. entertainment attorney. Yes. You need to be familiar with search in, uh, engine SEO. optimization, SEO. Yeah, exactly. That's going to get your, uh, you need to have PayPal uh, and PayPal. all those different methods. Know how to market online. 99% of people on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram have no idea how to market online. You need to have a presence online. You have to build a brand. Build your brand. Well, I'm telling you, that is amazing. And for those people that want to uh, sing the praises of Jesus, you can do that. You don't have to compromise. You don't. You just have to do a little footwork. You do. You and do. it may look harder, and but... I, yeah, and ask God to put the right people in your circle and weed out the people that are not good for you. And you're somebody that needs to be in their circle, so tell them how they can find oh, you. you. He already told you, just Google me. Google but me. tell them again, <laughs> Terry, and spell your full name for us. First name is Terry, T-E-R-R-Y, and then last name is M-O-O-R-E-R. -E Definitely Google me. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, but if you Google me, a bunch of stuff will come up because every time that I do an interview, it's now cataloged on the Internet. So when you type in Terry Moore, you see all the interviews and articles that, that I've done. Terry Moore just gave y'all some. I, and, and if you get in touch with him and you make any money, you need to break me yeah, off. Break, yeah, break, break <laughs> both of us off. Guess, we need uh, to be broke uh, off. Uh, no, can we do Shark Tank real quick? What type of equity are we getting? What's my. Well, exactly. What's the exactly, you know? exactly. That is some really, really good Shout out knowledge. to be talking to Shark Tank. Shout out to Carl Brown from FUBU out there. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And tell us your website. Website is terrymore.com. And the Atlanta business, tell us about that. You, uh, the Atlanta business. 
journal? That learnermusicbusiness.com. Oh, learnermusicbusiness.com, yeah. Okay. That's the website that's on Udemy now, so go to learnermusicbusiness.com. And I've got over 90 hours of people from the industry giving you tips about the industry. Wow! Entertainment attorneys, celebrity photographers. Shut up! They're in there giving you tips. And and think about it, each video is not like 15, 20 minutes long. Each video is really like maybe 30, 45 seconds, maybe a minute and a half. With just these little tidbits. Just little tidbits on copyright, wow. trademarks, everything. So if you're not on that website right now and you're not driving, I'm going to consider you lazy. Nothing easy just comes to you. There's no microwave career. Absolutely not. You have to get out there hustle. Terry has sewn into his gift. Thank you. Which blossomed into a business. Yes. Um, overcame obstacles, uh, physical disabilities, yes. and the nose of society and, yes. and the industry. Absolutely. And you are still banging it out. Yes. I love it. He's introduced me to light so now light's <laughs> my friend and she i'm her friend and yeah not really she, don't ask her about loving lee and she'll be like who but no this has been an amazing hour i'm thank so you. glad to I'll have you thank you for driving here. from another continent oh yeah <laughs> for real you know i lunch got to well, see I the bag in the back of the car the way yeah, out. <laughs> but it has been a pleasant pleasant hour i'm telling you i love my listeners and i've missed you thank you again for coming on another terrific tuesday i miss you guys and i will be back next tuesday and the tuesday after until courtney tells me i can't come back but <laughs> i've always got to put that out there because courtney at any time might pull the plug on me like no he loves me the yeah the blocks change the, do i not work here anymore like no no i love it i love you all this has been so fun our hour is never never long enough but i tell you stay encouraged this week don't let anybody tell you no there's nothing there's no limitations placed on you you are in, made in the image of God, so you are perfectly made. So I tell you to go out there and get what's yours, get your blessings. We are going to go out, and we are 108 Praise Radio, Voice in the Gospel. I'm the loving Leanne, and you've been here with Terry Moore. Yes, yes, yes. Yay! <laughs> yes, yes. I, like I love you guys. We'll be back here next Tuesday. Hey, stay tuned for my sister Courtney. She'll be here at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love you.